Hartford police officer has died after a driver who was fleeing the scene of a traffic stop struck his cruiser last night. Another officer suffering serious injuries. The law enforcement agencies here in the Bay State are now sharing their condolences. Western Mass News reporter Kristen Burnell joins us live with the story. Kristen. Chris, Springfield Police Superintendent Cheryl Claproot has also lost officers in the line of duty over the years. She tells us this year accident rates have been an all-time high. Bobby loved this city. He grew up going to Whalers games. He loved going to Yard Goats games now. He served this city with courage and compassion. The street crimes unit of which he was a part to some of the toughest, most dangerous, most important work that anyone can do to keep our community safe. One Connecticut police officer has died in the line of duty and one left hospitalized following a traffic stop incident in Hartford Wednesday night. When you lose a brother or sister officer, it's felt nationwide. And when it happens close to our backyard in Springfield, Western Massachusetts, Hartford is 20 minutes away. Uh, you really feel it. Hartford police identify 34-year-old Officer Bobby Garten as the passenger who died and Officer Brian Kearney as the driver, who remains hospitalized with serious injuries. Police say their cruiser was hit by a driver who was traveling at high speed. The suspect, 18-year-old Richard Barrington, an 11th grader in Hartford, sped through two red lights before the collision. Unfortunately, we this this the, the driver of the other car is 18. And people flee us for many reasons, and people get scared and drive crazy. And uh, he had some motor vehicle issues, and he was just flying. And, uh, you know, th this officer and, and his partner were going to a different call. So it, it's, it's heartbreaking. Springfield Police Superintendent Cheryl Clapperu tells Western Mass News these types of incidents have become more common. This year, it's been a real high incident rate for serious accidents, pedestrian accidents, cruiser accidents. So for some reason, uh, the driving habits of the motoring public are, are worse this year than years past. She adds as soon as the funeral services are finalized for Officer Garden, some of her officers will go to Connecticut to pay their respects. It's times like this where one thing about law enforcement is it's a big family. We're, we're one big community and, and we do really support each other when something like this happens. Chickabee police also reacting to the loss, sharing in a statement that reads in part, quote, we would like to offer our condolences to the Hartford Police Department for the loss of one of their own. Our thoughts are with your department and the family of the fallen officer. We are all, we're all also hoping for a full recovery of the second officer that was injured during this incident. Reporting live in studio, Kristen Burnell, Western Mass News.